guys welcome back thank you so much for stopping by to check out my video now today I'm just doing a quick little first impression video on a new palette that I have in my possession and this palette was actually gifted to me I didn't purchase it myself my daughter actually bought this palette for me and I know when she saw it she immediately thought of me and thought of my channel so very very sweet of her but yeah I saw this palette kind of roaming around on my Instagram feed and when I saw it I was like that's cute you know I had it in the back of my head that I was going to check it out but she beat me to the punch so the palette I'm talking about is this brand new eyeshadow palette that Miss Keisha K. Orr came out with now I will be totally honest with you guys I really didn't know anything about Keisha K. Orr, okay? <laughs> I had no idea. I had heard her name probably a time or two in the shade room, <laughs> but that's about it. I don't really keep up with all the latest and greatest, you know, I don't know, social media giants and things like that, or reality TV or rapper wives and stuff like that. I don't keep up with that stuff. I'm getting older now, so... I don't know but <laughs> I have heard her name before so I said I wanted to do a little bit of research just so I can at least find out who she is before I even you know did a video using this palette because you know I wouldn't want to do a video on a palette from someone who's extremely crazy wild or controversial so when I found out that she was a black business owner that she started her cosmetic line actually quite a while ago she was uh, you know she really hustled hard to get it going get it started she started from the bottom up you know did her thing back in the day was in a couple of videos you know decided to start her own cosmetic line she did some beauty and styling for people in the industry and stuff like that so it's not like this was just handed to her or she made money and you know decided to do this she actually worked hard hustle hard and started her own cosmetics line and I'm really surprised that I didn't know that as much as I love makeup and the fact that she came out with really or she's known for really bold loud <laughs> lipsticks and colors and stuff like that in her makeup I'm surprised I didn't know but you know a lot of times smaller or indie brands and stuff like this don't really get pushed out there as much as the larger more well-known brands so I'm actually glad that she you know launched this palette because it gave me an opportunity to get to know who she is and a little bit about her background so as you can see she's absolutely gorgeous beautiful young lady married to Gucci Mane they have their own backstory or whatnot but enough of that okay so this is the box that is her on the back of the box it does list the ingredients and it does state here this has a 12 month shelf life it's cruelty free and the net weight is 23.4 grams or 0.825 ounces so that's just the basic specs on this palette this is what the palette looks like okay so of course you know why it caught my attention okay it's a K. <laughs> so yes, of course, that's why it caught my attention while I was like, I got to get it just for the simple fact that it's a K. I have to get it. I love eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow palettes. I love K's and you know, I think it's really pretty. This beautiful red coloring. It says k -or on the front, on the back of this unique <laughs> design. It actually lists, as you can see, it lists the ingredients cruelty free weight and all that stuff here actually on the back of this case so that's pretty cool now let me go ahead and open it up and when you open it up this is what the palette looks like so you do get a mirror in this palette and it's a pretty decent mirror you guys um it does come with a brush you know I really don't care about brushes and palettes I really don't I, I very rarely even use them I use the profusion brushes because I like them but like the ABH brushes and stuff I really don't use them but it comes with this cute little brush and it has you probably can't see it but it has these little confetti hearts in there it's really pretty they're like pink and red so it's just a regular blending brush that it comes with but 
very very cute this really would have been like a cute valentine's day gift for someone who's into makeup or who likes kishi k -Y. okay so this is what it looks like as you can see her signature is up here on the palette so that's pretty cool and yeah i don't know if that's her actual signature signature or if it's a stamp i would assume it's a stamp but it looks pretty authentic okay so these are the shadows in this palette as you can see it's not a wide range of shadows i mean because of the shape of the palette it only allows for 13 shades in here but even with the 13 shades it's still a very specific palette you get your shimmers and you get your mattes but it's basically like a red and gold palette with some blacks to smoke it out that's basically what this is so you really wouldn't purchase this palette if you're looking for a lot of variety honestly i feel like any look that i would do with this palette they would all end up looking the same <laughs> just how I feel whether I do a shimmer lid with this really pretty like light pink shimmer or whether I use the gold and just you know put the red in my crease and smoke it out with the black which is basically what I did today I don't see myself doing a lot of different looks with this palette which honestly I really don't care because I was not anticipating receiving this palette from my daughter actually to use it. I just went ahead and used it so I can let you guys know how it performs just in case you want to pick it up. Now, I don't know, did I say this palette retails for $59 on the KOR website? So yeah, this 13 pan palette is $59 so it's not cheap by any means. But of course I'm sure you're paying for her name. You know, you're paying for the shape of this palette. I'm sure it costs more money to make a palette in the shape of a K than in the shape of a square. So, yeah, it's a more expensive palette, but I think it's really cute. The quality on the shadows, I really don't have any complaints. They blend it out very nicely. Um, I was kind of feeling like, ugh, you know, it's not really you know dark girl friendly but quite honestly with the look that I was able to create with this palette I feel like you know you can create a very nice look you know us deeper toned brown skin girls even though Keisha Kaor is a black woman she's a lighter black woman so these shadows here still performed nicely on my skin tone as well so you know it worked out this black glitter shade here I think it's really really pretty I use that to smoke out my look and as you can see you really can't see the glitter in there I don't know if I just did a full-on smoky eye if you would be able to see the glitter more in the black but you really can't see it and I was hoping that you would be able to see the glitter in there but you really can't now with the shimmer shadows I would definitely suggest wetting your brush before you use them as well as doing your eyes before you do your face because I did have fallout even though I sprayed my brush and laid them down they laid down good enough I wouldn't say they were like oh that's so pretty that's so nice they laid down nicely um decent pigmentation decent shimmer they look really nice but I would suggest wetting your brush when you use them um, and like I said, even though I wet my brush, I did have fallout. So the mattes were nice, pigmented enough, the shimmers were decent, shimmery enough. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this palette. There was nothing that blew me away. I wouldn't say this is a palette that you have to have. Of course, looking at these shadows, you can find these shadows in a whole plethora of lesser expensive palettes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some swatches for you guys and then we will move forward with this look. swatches really aren't anything to write home about the shimmer shadows are very nice 
I would say those are the stars of the palette. The shimmer shadows are really, really pretty. The matte shades, they don't swatch well at all. When you're blending them out on your lid, though, they do pick up nicely. They blend out nicely, and they do show up. Um, as you can you see all that glitter in that black one there. It's so, so pretty. But there's a lot of glitter in this black one, and it shows up nicely in the swatch, but... Like I said, I really don't see it reflecting on my eyes. So, those are the swatches for this palette, you guys. So, those are my thoughts on this palette, you guys. Just first impression, of course. I've only used it this one time. I would say, if you want to pick this up because you're a makeup collector and you like it and you like Keisha Kaor, then it's probably something nice to have, a nice memento of her first eyeshadow palette that she came out with you know with her signature in it something like that if you're a collector but if you're someone that just likes makeup and is looking for a red eyeshadow palette I definitely would not suggest this <laughs> no you don't need to spend $59 for 13 shadows that are pretty basic so that's my thoughts on this if you'd like to see how I created this look using this palette then stay tuned because it's coming up next. <music>